I uh, just want to get your thoughts on uh, the development progress uh, Nathan Rourke, how's he looking this week? Uh, short week, so uh, you doing everything pretty quick though, so we just got to get dialed in and get with the timing and everything and be good on our execution and stuff. So, so um, he's looking pretty good though. Does it feel like the execution's getting a little bit better, the timing in particular with uh, the quarterback? Uh, yeah, it's getting better and better. It's going to be a day-by-day -day thing. Um, he only had, what, three or four practices, so, you know, uh, we know he's good. We know what he's capable of doing, but, you know, it takes a quarterback a little time to get in that groove. So, uh, we he working daily, and we working with him, and uh, he's going to he gonna continue to get better and better. And he, once he get back to Nathan Roy and, you know, get the offense going, then we'll be fine. From your perspective, how difficult is it to change a uh, quarterback midseason? Uh, sometimes you just got to expect the unexpected. So, you know, you got to roll with the punches. You got to play with the cards that you dealt. And, you know, those things that just, like, sometimes just be out of your control. So whoever's their quarterback, um, we just got to execute with their quarterback. We got to make them look good like we always do. And that's, that's what we're going to do. What's been happening the last month? I mean, offensively, whether it's Vernon or Nathan or even Jake for the one game, this offense looks nothing like it did the first five, six weeks of the season. Any ideas why? Uh, Man, you know, sometimes you just have your hiccups, man. You know, it's just part of the journey, you know. Our offense is expected to make big plays and, you know, put up a lot of yards. And, you know, we're going through a little phase right now where it's, you know, it's not quite working out. But we got to get back on track this week, hopefully, and uh, just try to, you know, get back to doing what we do, playing BC line football and having that, um, that explosive offense. You and Justin, you had crazy numbers early, and those numbers have has slowed down a little bit, and for you, I know you missed two practices in the last game with a, a, a two practices last week with a knee injury. Do you feel close to 100%, or is it hard to separate? I'm good to go. I'm out here. I'm good to go. I know you're playing, but like, are you are you feeling the effects of it? If I'm out here practicing, I'm good to go. So, is it a case of you getting extra attention, or is there are there other reasons for uh, you know for what's happening with the numbers for again a couple of you? Uh, you know, if I'm mean, if I am getting extra attention, you know, that's 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 good for other guys. You know, with a group that we got, you know, that's that's perfect for us. You know, since somebody else get open, they get in the ball. You know, I don't have to be that guy that have ten catches and, and 150 yards every game. You know, I can. It don't matter. I'm a team player, and uh, I just want to make the play that come to me to be able to help the team um, execute. That's it. Some guys kind of need to, a little bit of volume early to get on a roll or get comfortable. Is, has it been hard? Uh, nah, nah, it's not. Um, I know, I know how our offense is, man. You know, at any given, at any given, at any given day, you know, anybody can be that guy. You know, what I'm saying, you know, it might be a game where Hatch may have the most catches, and I might have the most yards, or Justin may have the most catches, and Hatch may have the most touchdowns. So you just, you just never know. We just feed off each other's um, energy and 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 what we what we doing. So that what makes it special for us. Coach Campbell did mention that uh, the Bombers looked really good defensively, did some really mm -hmm. good things. Was it a little bit harder to, to find space out there against Winnipeg? Uh, they uh, they, they played uh, pretty good defensively, so uh, uh, we just, from here on out, we just got to take what the defense give us, you know? That's it. We passed the Bombers now. It's in the past and every mirror, so we ain't looking back to that. So just from here on out, we just got to take what defenses give us and just get back to our way of playing football. Thanks. Thank you very Thanks, much. Alex. Thank you.